vlog. Today is Friday, August the 2nd. I am off for the weekend. It is my long weekend, so you guys know I love to vlog during my long weekend. And to start off the vlog, I wanted to give you guys a little kitchen update. We are two weeks into the kitchen renovation. They're saying we have one week left. I am praying we have one week left. Today is Friday. They're not here today. I don't know why. <laughs> I haven't seen them honestly since we started the project last Monday because I worked Tuesday through Friday and then uh, you know they weren't here on the weekend and then I worked Monday through Thursday so my husband's been kind of communicating with them but he said they didn't say anything to him yesterday about not being here today. I think it's because they've kind of done all that they can do and we're just waiting for a few more things to come in to finish the project. So let me show you guys. Keep in mind, this is a rough draft. Stuff is a little bit everywhere. So these are the new floors. They're laminate flooring. I absolutely adore them. And then I think we're gonna end up keeping the door off of here because we don't need it. And then this is, as you go into the kitchen, this space is gonna have a little panel right there so that there's not a space, but this is a nice like pistachio color that I picked and I really wanted to have two-toned cabinets. So like the bottom be a nice color and then the top be white because I wanted it to be colorful but not too colorful. So the dishwasher is going in that space and then we're waiting on one more cabinet to come here that I guess they didn't order, I don't really know. The hood is all in. He's got all my stuff in. I'm gonna have a pot filler here. I think eventually we will get like a new stove because I don't love like the stainless steel with it, but like it'll do for now. And then obviously we need to do the backsplash and place the countertops. The backsplash is just gonna be a nice subway tile. And then the um, countertops is a nice like white quartz with a little bit of gray detailing and the subway tile will have gray in it as well. So yeah, that is what is done so far. And then with the floor, we extended the floor into the living area space. And now everything is so bright, which I love, but there needs to be some color. So I think this weekend we're gonna go and look for a new rug. This rug is old and dirty anyway. And then a new rug here because this space now needs color. Like it's, it's too bright now, in my opinion. I just, I like things bright, but not too bright. This is the, I'll show you guys the um, old floors for reference. And we do have some leftover flooring. So I just checked with our project manager right now if we can extend the flooring into at least our bedroom for now, which our bedroom is just a wreck, you guys. Our AC went out during this whole process because they were having the door open so much. I need to put away my laundry. It's just, it's a little bit of a mess, but it's okay, it's coming along. I feel like you can get the vision now, like the vision that I was going for was like a very coastal, bright colors. I'm excited to get like a nice long rug to place in the kitchen that kind of brings all the colors together. And then obviously like we'll put our table back like in our little breakfast nook area now that the floors are so light and that is so dark i was telling seth i was like should we sand those down and like stain them he was like honestly no it's gonna be such a process so i don't know if we'll do that it's definitely not gonna be right now we're you know in week two of not having a functioning kitchen so it, it's just it's been a lot but we are excited so right now it is 11 o'clock I went to yoga this morning and then I have a meeting actually that I'm very excited about with a nurse educator for a school around here because I am thinking about maybe teaching like a nursing clinical class, which I think would be fun, but I just, I need to see how much I can do. I feel like sometimes I just like overextend myself and like how much would go into that process because I think it would be like once a week for like the school year and then obviously probably have summers off um which sounds great but i just want to see like do i need to go down to three days a week at my job to do this is it really something that i want to do so i have a meeting with her at 11 30 it's 11 o'clock i'm it's a virtual meeting so i'm gonna be like this i'm gonna sit down and do like my five minute journal and um, my devotional before the meeting and drink a lot of water because my yoga class absolutely slammed me this morning it was so hard <music>
I did my call and then I've just been editing a TikTok that I have due today with a brand. So I edited that, got it sent into my manager and I think I basically had a, a heavy wake up call as to um, what it would be like to essentially be kind of like a clinical instructor for a college. I was kind of thinking I would like to do something like that and i um just don't think i'm gonna do it after the call if i'm being completely honest i would rather just work on my own stuff and like a way to help you guys than go to a hospital once a week for 12 hours just to be there as basically like a babysitter um and get paid really abysmally for it because i would have to go part-time at work in order to do this so anyway it's just not gonna work but it was good to hear about because it is something i've always just kind of wondered about doing so anyway that's all good right now i am going to go take a shower and then i'm going to sit down and work on my np guide my new np survival guide i am i have broken it down into sections and um, there's different videos i want to film per section and right now i'm really working on the how to build the perfect np resume section so i think i've got it almost done and i think i'm going to be ready to sit down and film that video today so that's going to be the goal it's just where am i going to film it in my house because my house looks so messy i am about to be getting ready for filming because i think i'm going to film the how to create the perfect NP resume today. So that will be video one of my series. The whole series will come out together. I'm thinking I might release them separately as a like maybe like a teaser. I'm not quite sure. This whole thing is like this is a one man show. I'm doing this all by myself with out any help like or anything like that. So I know it's going to be a process and I just want you guys to know that it's going to be a process like it's not going to be something that you're going to have tomorrow but I'm hoping like by the end of the year it will be done I think sooner than that honestly but I just don't want to be too crazy about giving myself timelines that I can't meet if I'm still going to be working full time which I am. I have no intentions of going part-time anytime soon. This, like, um, this project I think would hopefully be kind of what catapults me towards being part-time as an NP. I've, I feel like I've, have I talked about this? I'm not sure. I think I have. My goal has always been to, like, do social media part-time and work part-time as an NP, that way I just get a little bit more flexibility with my schedule. And as I grow up and maybe potentially want to start a family, I would be able to be present in both areas, if that makes sense. I don't want to lose my practicing as an NP. I'm not saying that whatsoever. I just want the ability to be very flexible. And right now I have a great flexible job where I am only working four days a week and I don't work weekends and I don't work on call, which is amazing, but it's still four days a week. So really it only leaves me a little bit of time like with my family and then a little bit of time to work on kind of like passion projects, if you will. So I don't know, that's just goals. It's always good to have goals to look forward to. I actually do need to sit down and look at my july goals and start making my august goals i love making new goals every single month that was like one of my new year's resolutions was to create a set of goals every month for myself that way it made things a little bit easy easier and i always had something to be working on and it wasn't just lose 10 pounds even though i i'm not saying i need to lose 10 pounds or anything like that just you know goals that keep me busy and keep me working towards the future that I want to create for myself and I would urge you guys to do that as well I feel like I've really seen in the last couple of years just with becoming an NP and finding the job that I have right now that truly your life is what you create it to be nobody makes the rules except for you now obviously there are situations where you might be set up better than other people but you can always change your situation. So 
anyway i did the same quick makeup that i always do i am i think gonna put on my hair if i can tame it i wish my hair was just always wavy i love wavy hair you guys who have any texture to your hair i know that you probably hate it but i know that i am jealous of you because i have zero texture to my hair typically my hair is soaking sopping wet underneath of that ponytail <laughs> video edited for this coming Sunday which will be like what August 4th or something like that so that's all uploaded ready to go I am done working for the day what time is it 6 17 and my house is just in shambles you know kind of expectedly <laughs> and I don't know what I can and can't clean um but I'm gonna try to just pick up a few things and get everything ready for technically the weekend. I'm re-watching Pretty Little Liar, so I have that on in the background. Seth is at a massage. I think we're gonna go to like a putt putt place tonight with friends, so we'll see if we end up doing that. And um, yeah, just kind of like play it by ear. I don't really know what else is going on. I did have a pub sub for lunch a couple of hours ago that I didn't show you guys because I was ravenously hungry and that was after I filmed my like first episode of or the first part of my um, new NP survival guide and so that's all good I'm glad I got the first one out I'm also updating my computer so it's just been a lot of computer work today which I kind of hate computer work but it's all good things are going swimmingly just gonna watch Pretty Little Liars and get to clean it. discovered Lauren Snyder on YouTube and she lives in Tampa so I've been like binge watching her videos I love watching like a YouTube video in the morning while I like make my matcha and drink my matcha on my days off so anyway today's Saturday I slept in till like 9 15 which felt so good I really needed that and we are going to go to a yoga class which I wish that I didn't book this yoga class because I've worked out like I don't think I worked out on Sunday, but I've worked out Monday through Friday this week and my body's really sore and I know I need the rest, but I'm trying to book up my yoga classes, use my credits for this month because I couldn't use them for so long. So anyway, we're gonna go and just kind of do what we can do today and then we'll take tomorrow off. And then I don't know what else is planned for today. There is technically, I think a tropical storm morning coming through Florida. What time is it start, supposed to start raining? It is supposed to, no, oh, there's like barely any chance of rain today. Probably tomorrow, I don't know. I'm not worried about it. I have went through a hurricane here, so I'm not worried about a tropical storm. But um, anyway, I think, you know, a lot of people are gonna just chill at their house just to be sure everything passes. We've been loving watching the Olympics in the evening. Like we have them, um, um, recorded and I think I want to go to home goods today actually to look at some new rugs for the living room and our little dining area space so maybe it'll be like a home decor day which I'm excited about so anyway happy Saturday I'm happy for the rest
yesterday, I was telling you guys that I make new goals for myself every month. So this morning I just sat down and read over my July goals and kind of talked about whether or not I fulfilled those goals and like what I thought about them. So I just kind of wanted to inspire you guys, inspire you guys to make goals regularly. It doesn't have to be every month, but <clears throat> just to like keep yourself accountable and always keep life a little bit interesting. So I'll read you guys my goals. So I wanted to reach 100,000 followers on TikTok, which unfortunately I didn't. I'm at 97,000 right now. So that's okay. That's still great to be there. It's okay. I met all of my um, goals for growth last month as far as social media. So it's okay. Read one book. <laughs> read one book, which I did read one book. I read um, The Housemaid by Frida McFadden last month in July so I was very happy about that and then I wrote these goals when I got back from Europe and I was a little bit jet lagged so I wrote watch more sunrises <laughs> I watched one sunrise and then life quickly got back into the swing of things and I have not seen a sunrise since that morning I see I like I catch a little bit of the sunrise when I wake up in the mornings for work but it's not the same like that morning that i woke up and i wrote these goals like i literally saw the sun come up and it was beautiful and i was inspired but i'm also i will always be a sleep girl like i will always choose sleep over things um i also rotate more walks be outside more which i feel like i have really done as much as possible it is terribly warm outside so i've been trying to get out in the mornings like when i'm off of work and taking walks like yesterday morning seth and i took a walk with the dogs before we did anything so yes i took a lot of walks especially when i couldn't be at the gym you guys saw that in like a couple weekend back vlogs i was like walking every morning so i feel like i did do that and then the fifth one is one that i am always working on and that is to stop scrolling on socials so much i'm addicted to my phone because half of my work takes place on my phone but i need to learn how to post and then put my phone down and then maybe pick it up later and like respond to comments and things like that but I just, I feel like I'm so heavily addicted to my phone. So we're working on those. And then after, so like this morning I wrote my August goals and I kind of reflected a little bit on July and how I felt about not reaching all of my July goals, how I felt about reaching some of them. So yeah, it's just like a good way to always keep myself accountable for my life and that I am responsible for making my life what I want it to be. So yeah, so I was just texting me and was like, should we go to church? He's literally laying in bed. Um, should we go to church? We really should go to church. And I'm very convinced to go to church because I don't want to go to this yoga class because my body hurts so bad. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm getting ready to go in the pool actually. Get a little sun before the rain comes in a couple of hours. This morning we didn't end up going to church or <laughs> the yoga class. I have a hard time like listening to my body I feel like and just letting myself rest. I really felt like I needed rest this morning. My body hurts to the touch. Like yoga was so hard yesterday. And so when Sal was like, do you want to go to church? I was like, yeah, I would actually like prefer to go to church over my um, yoga class. But this is such a first world problem and probably like, not the best thing to say, but if I am going to like get out of bed and go to church, I want to get something from it and I want to like enjoy the sermon and right now the pastor at the church near us just doesn't do it for me. And every sermon is like this, it's like watching the same sermon. So we have this church that we like to watch online, it's called Crosswalk. Um, it's out of California, and so we just watched that for church this morning, and it was really good. And then Seth went to the gym, I made myself a little toast, and now I'm going to go in the pool. It's getting super overcast, so I need to go now. I think I'm going to do a little bit of reading while I'm out there. I'm trying to get into this book by Ellen Hildebrand that is being turned into a movie. It's called... It's called The Perfect Couple, and I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting into it. It's just... Ellen Hildebrand is an amazing writer. She just describes everything in the world, and it tends to, like, bore me a little bit, but 
we're gonna work on getting into it and make it a little tan. I literally just got all ready, got all of my stuff, was filling my water and heard like thunder and it's raining outside. So I feel like that's just how my plans keep going right now. I guess I could just read my book. I also have some stuff I wanna put away as far as in the kitchen. So I guess we'll work on that instead, but this is what it looks like outside. You can see the drops of rain on the pool. I'm not even sure it's been five minutes and now this is what it looks like outside. So we're gonna be in the pool. It's not videoing you. It's Tyler Owens he calls himself a tornado wrangler. What does that even mean? We just got back from the movie theater. We watched Twister, which I really enjoyed. Seth was like, eh, but I thought it was really good. And now it's like 11 o'clock. I'm gonna get ready for bed. My hair is so gross, but um, I'm probably about half of the way through The Perfect Couple now, and I'm really starting to enjoy it. Like it's really, there's a lot of twists and turns and I really like it. So I'm excited to pick that up again. And then we'll go to bed. Good morning, you guys. Sunday morning. I just got an Amazon package that I'm gonna open if I can get it. Open. I just ordered a pair of red boxer shorts off of Amazon because I've been loving my pair of green boxer shorts that I have. I wanted to get a red pair. These are super cute. I hope they fit. I think they will. I'll link these at my Amazon shop, but they were super cheap. They're like $14. They definitely feel like on the cheaper side, so don't think that these are high quality, but they're very cute and they're quite trendy, so yeah. Anyway, I am about to make my morning matcha. We actually have a tropical storm coming through today and tomorrow, I believe here so hopefully we don't lose power or anything like that we have water bottles i didn't stock up on food or anything we do have some like mac and cheese stuff but it's not it's not gonna hit us directly so we'll be fine but yeah that means we're gonna be inside watching the olympics all day long today which is totally fine because i could use a sunday just chilling like we mostly chilled yesterday i did finish my book last night uh, the perfect couple and I really do recommend it. It took me a second to get into it because there's a lot of characters and a, lo a lot of names that you need to remember and that took me a while to like remember everybody's name and kind of like put it all together. That was what took me so long to get into it but after that, so I would say after about the first third of the book I was locked in and it's like probably 450 pages and I think I read a good 380 of them yesterday, so highly recommend The Perfect Couple by Ellen Hildebrand. <laughs> Going for a walk before the rain. Yeah, you ready? Let <laughs> me go out the front door. Just watching a little bit of the Olympics and cuddling. And then, <laughs> yeah. First meal in the house, in the new kitchen. These new forks. I think they're really good. Can I lie? Can I not lie? 
Like, you don't like them? No. These bowls are, are OGs. Are my favorite. <laughs> I like them way more than <laughs> these. These bowls are from my parents' house. Like 30 years they had these bowls. Okay, yeah, I'll take that one. Give me the money! No. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> making a little bit of strawberry syrup for my matcha and I'm just kind of trying out my own recipe right now. Last time I made it, I did do my own recipe, but I used sugar and this time I used honey because I thought mm, that would be a nice little natural sweetener. So I just put probably about half a pint of strawberries, probably like two tablespoons of honey and a fourth of a cup of water and we'll see how it turns out. So you just like bring it to a boil and I think we make some blueberry syrup as well because I like to have both or I like to have at least one for the week actually I probably will wait I'll just make strawberry syrup for this week and then maybe next week I'll make a blueberry syrup but I've been loving doing that to my matches it's so yummy and like something different still kind of summery for the season we just finished watching the volleyball game against um, the United States and Italy it was they had to win this in order to advance and it was um, Sarah Hughes and what was the other girl's name I don't remember they're both amazing but they just won I've been like my nerves are out of control but I love watching the Olympics I really need to sit down and work on my project today um, but I've been like a little unmotivated on that and I can't find the remote so sorry that's like loud in the background We have a storm going on outside, but there hasn't been any thunder, which is good because my dogs are terrible. Well, one of my dogs is scared of thunder, so it's been good. Good morning, you guys. It is Monday morning. It's quite dreary outside. It's almost 11 o'clock, and I'm about to head to the gym, get in a little workout, and I have a meeting at 12.30 today, and then this afternoon we're just going to be working on um, probably some stuff for my new project so that's the plan but i need to get this workout in quick because i need to be back here and ready for my meeting at 12 30. back from the gym and i just took a shower washed my hair i'm going to um tone my hair today so i needed to wash it and i just hold on yeah okay and i just threw on this new set that i got from set active this is a third set that I have of these I'm kind of obsessed I will say that every set that I get the fit is a little bit different so I feel like it's not super consistent um, and they're really tall so I'm 5'3 for reference and I have on platforms and they're fine with platforms but otherwise if I wasn't wearing slippers they would be scraping the floor so just keep that in mind but this is in their yellow set. I have the pink set and have the red set. The red set is my favorite fit. I feel like they did the best job with that. And then this one is probably my next one. The pink one just fits a bit weird for some reason. But anyway, still raining outside. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm going to grab some lunch. Lunch is just a little bit of a leftover half of a burrito that I got from Cali on Saturday that I need to finish eating. I'm going to grab a little matcha. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. Oh, the lighting. Why is it blue? I just got these shorts in from Amazon. I'll have them linked in my Amazon, but they're so cute. I love the little boxer short trend. And then this shirt is from Set Active. It's a part of a set, so I do have the yellow pants as well. Actually, I think I showed you guys that. And then I'm just wearing my Birkenstocks. And my bag is from Target. We're gonna just run and get a matcha. That was such a fail. We went there and I think they're closed because of the tropical storm. So now I'm just about to eat this little unreal coconut chocolate bar because I want something a little sweet. It's about three, oops, it's four o'clock. Um, the men's volleyball is on. I don't know what it is, quarterfinal? I think it's a quarterfinal. I've been really enjoying watching volleyball, which I always enjoy watching volleyball. I played volleyball in high school, but so I enjoy watching it in the Olympics. So. I'm just gonna do that. I need to put some laundry away. But other than that, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I think that for the most part this weekend is done. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye guys. Bye.